Hello everyone, my name is Anoshi Asta and I'm so grateful that you're taking this Manifesting Love and Abundance mini video series with me and um, this is our second video. I hope you enjoyed the first one and uh, where we talked about really about becoming aware of your creative power. And once you, you know, anything, any kind of work, spiritual work you do with yourself helps you become aware of who you truly are. And that's what becoming aware of your manifesting ability is also all about. When you let go of any small thoughts about yourself, because there's nothing small about you. You are an incredible, magnificent being. You have so much so much support from the angels, so much support from the universe all over the place, not to mention your incredible light within that in itself is just a power tool like nothing else. <laughs> so just it's time to really a little bit remember that, that you really are the creator of your own experience and Today we will talk about magnetizing those dreams that hopefully in the past couple of days you spend a little time on thinking about because that's a very, very, very important step in uh, making these, you know, becoming a creator, a conscious and aware creator. Like we talked in the other video, we're already creating everything in our lives, but becoming conscious about your thoughts allows you to have more control of the events and things that come to you that are happening in your life. So the the first thing um, about really magnetizing your dreams, the, the first really powerful tool, what helps you do this is to just find that emotion within you that your dream um, is all about. So for example, um let's take uh love for example because we're manifesting love and abundance so let's start with love if you want to manifest love you need to really think about uh, what that love means to you because what love relationships mean to me might be completely different than what it means to you your neighbor uh, the people you're dating with uh, it's just a completely, it's a personal thing. So it is about your emotion. So find that emotion. Why do you want to be in a relationship? Why are you wanting to become a magnet for love and relationship? So some people, for example, um, seek in love um, security. So if you are seeking security, from a relationship, if you feel like you need someone to make you feel safe, whether it is emotionally or financially or or any um, anyway, just focus on that emotion. Just find that emotion of what that sense of security is. So first, you can find it's in something else. Maybe think about what else in your life brings you a sense of security, and focus on that. For example, if you feel safe when you are at home uh, watching your favorite TV show, maybe you feel safe then. Do you feel safe and secure? Or maybe you feel safe and secure after you are paid your rent <laughs> or whatever. Just focus on that and that energy and seek as many situations like that that bring you a sense of security as you can without the partner. And that's how you find that core energy. Or if you want romance, you just miss romance in your life. You don't care about security, you just want romance. <laughs> just want flowers, you want to, you know, uh, cuddle and all those, you know, romantic stuff. <laughs> moon, moon walk, uh, beach walks in the moonlight and so on start doing that yourself you can go to the beach you can walk in the moonlight or you can buy yourself red roses you can put them in, in the, the petals in a bath and and light a candle and just 
feel really romantic. You can watch a romantic movie, whatever it is that you want to do or experience with that other person. You can start magnetizing yourself by already doing that. And when you do that, it's all easier to get to the feeling like, hmm, love is already here. I feel it. It's like already everywhere because you will bring it so much closer by focusing on that emotion that this love will bring to you. The same thing when you are manifesting you know, abundance or, or wanting some changes in your life. So let's consider um, you wanting to change a job. It's a good example. <laughs> you don't like your job. You want a new job. You want a job that pays better, that has a better, better atmosphere. Maybe you don't like your coworkers. Whatever it is that, you know, reason. Find that reason, what it is that the energy, it might not be the new job at all. Perhaps the reason why your dream is to want a new job is because you, you don't feel like you're being paid enough. So you can focus on the emotion of, uh, of having, you know, simply um, focus on bringing more money to have a promotion. That might be your goal. Or if it's um, a bad atmosphere, there's a person who always kind of gets on your nerves, <laughs> then maybe you can just focus on feeling really happy and free and joyful at work. So that's a feeling. So don't think about that you don't be so sure that you know exactly what the dream is about because sometimes we put out general uh, wishes and if you're stuck on like i want a new job maybe you get a new job and you'll find out soon that you're in the same um, kind of situation with your co-workers and nothing has changed of course we need to do always look at ourselves if there is a person other people are a reflection of who we are. But now we're not talking about that so much. We're really talking about manifesting uh, a new circumstance in life, something your dream come true. So in order to really, to really change that job environment, find out what it is that you really want. And same, if you want a new home, think about what it is it about new home that you want. Maybe you live in an apartment where there is a balcony and you really want to start gardening. And you're like, mm, I want a house so that I can garden. But maybe somebody will just, you know, something will happen and you just realize, hmm, maybe this balcony is the perfect thing for that. You don't need to move. You just get your gardening stuff in the balcony or the patio or whatever. Uh, but sometimes, yeah, maybe you need more space and focus on on how does it feel like when you have more space around you and more more room for yourself and your kids and and um, or maybe wanting a new house means you just want to upgrade things you're tired of you know things falling apart here and there so find out the core energy of your dream and when you focus on that you uh, can really find the core of the energy and this helps you become a magnet for your dream and whatever you are manifesting, remember that keeping your emotions positive is the key to being a magnet. Whenever you are in a positive vibration uh, with your emotions, you are radiating that dream, that energy, and like attracts like. So if you are finding yourself feeling so romantic today, then the universe responds and you will attract romance. Or if you're feeling, I feel so abundant today. I feel like I have an abundance of money. Even if you didn't have that abundance of money, but if you just allow yourself to feel suddenly, ooh, you know, return, you know, things start coming to you. You're, you're being um, uh, showered with opportunities and, uh, and maybe you know gifts or or people come to you that will help you move forward it's really a magical life 
And it's all about changing your emotion. The emotions are what really, you know, first the dreams comes in the thought, it's an idea. So first it's an idea, then it becomes an emotion and all our emotions manifest in the world. So make sure you're watching over the next few days of what it is that you feel when you're thinking about those dreams of yours and allow yourself to fine tune. So if you wrote in your list that you want a new car or you want a new partner, um, whatever it is, just fine tune and take a moment to fine tune that list of yours with finding out the core emotion in that energy. And you can't go wrong. You cannot fail. It's going to be amazing. I'm super excited. And there's so many more tools coming up. And, and uh, remember, in a couple of days, we're going to have another video series, a video. And then after that, there's going to be a bonus call where we will really go even deeper into these issues. So thank you for watching. And remember, dreams do come true and that you are a beautiful, bright being of light with an incredible manifesting power. Use those emotions to your advantage and change your life, change the world. Let's do it together. And we'll continue in a couple of days. Thank you so much. Angel blessings. Bye-bye.